Did you know that in post-revolutionary France, the guillotine haircut was all the rage? During the French Revolution, also known as the Reign of Terror, thousands of French people lost their lives and many, many aristocrats. When the Reign of Terror was officially over, many of the survivors wanted to celebrate the fact that they had survived. As a result, a series of victims' balls or survivors' parties were held in which the only way you could be admitted was if you were a relative of a person who had been executed. And at these parties, new fashions, of course, sprung up. One of the most radical was the guillotine haircut. These hairstyles were also known as coiffure à la victime or à la titus. And basically, they were emulating the shorn haircuts that victims of the guillotine were subjected to, such as Marie Antoinette that we can see here. Basically, when a victim was about to be executed, their hair was cut very short so that the guillotine could find the neck. And so amongst the young orphaned aristocrats who had survived the reign of terror, this became their fashion. It became their way of rebelling and saying that, yes, we have survived. And it was incredibly radical because before the French Revolution, these towering hairstyles were all the rage. So it was very, very different. But they proved to be very, very popular and they were often ornamented with bows and headbands. Here we see another elegant lady with her guillotine haircut. Young women also took to wearing red chokers and this allegedly symbolised where their heads would have been severed from their bodies had they been executed. Other women took to wearing red shawls like this lady here and again that would have symbolised where their neck would have been severed from their body. And these white dresses were also considered very scandalous. Um, they were reminiscent of the greco roman dresses and they were also symbolic of the undergarments that many of their dead relatives had been stripped down to before they had been taken to the guillotine. Again, these were considered very scandalous because it was as though they weren't wearing any dresses at all and they were also very low cut, showing off their décolletage. Even Josephine, uh, Napoleon's future wife, was a great follower of this fashion. Indeed, she was a leader of the fashion. And here we see Josephine again in an 1805 portrait. She is wearing an incredibly low dress and she is lounging in the countryside with a very brilliant red shawl.